In a small, picturesque town nestled between the rugged mountains and the serene sea, there existed a peculiar feline known as Coffee Cat. This remarkable cat was unlike any other he possessed a sleek, white and grey coat that seemed to absorb the moonlight, and his eyes shone with an otherworldly blue hue, reminiscent of shimmering sapphires. Despite his captivating appearance, Coffee exuded an air of mystery that both intrigued and unsettled the townsfolk. Whispers floated through the cobblestone streets and alleys, speculating about Coffee's origins and purpose. Some believed he was a familiar to a powerful witch, while others whispered that he was a creature of the night, with a connection to the supernatural realm. Yet, despite the rumors that swirled around him, Coffee remained unfazed, going about his days with a quiet grace and a hint of mischief in his eyes. What most didn't know was that Coffee possessed a unique gift the ability to see what lay beyond the veil of the living world. He, like some other special felines, could perceive the spirits that wandered the earth, unseen and unheard by most. This gift often led him into extraordinary adventures, and on one fateful night, it led him into the heart of darkness itself. You see the town had seen things, ghostly things and they were terrified. As the town slept fretfully under the blanket of the night sky, the hauntings still fresh in their minds, Coffee prowled the deserted streets. His senses were uncannily alert to the subtle shifts in the world around his lithe body. It was then, in the silent fog, that he felt inner presence, cold and ominous, trailing his every step, Coffee's heart beat fast, and he quickened his pace, his eyes darting around in search of the unseen entity. Suddenly, a figure materialized before him, its form twisted and contorted, its face a mask of anguish, it was a spirit, trapped between the realms of the living and the dead, seeking solace in the world of the living, Coffee felt a surge of fear, but he knew that he had to help the spirit find peace, it was the only answer for the frightened townsfolk. With determination in his heart, Coffee followed the spirit as it led him deeper into the darkness, through winding streets and shadowy alleyways, until they reached the outskirts of the town. There, the spirit revealed its true form that of a young girl, her features twisted in mental agony. The girl's spirit told Coffee her story of how she had met a tragic end, her life cut short by a terrible accident, her soul was tormented, unable to find peace in the afterlife. Coffee's heart ached for the girl, and he knew that he had to help her find peace. Summoning all his courage, Coffee ventured, with a small girl, into the realm of the dead. A place of darkness and despair where the souls of the departed dwelt. The journey was treacherous, filled with perilous obstacles and haunting echoes of the past. Yet, Coffee pressed on, driven by his determination to help the lost soul find peace. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, Coffee reached the heart of the underworld, where the spirits gathered in silent mourning. There, he found the girl's soul, trapped in a cycle of torment and despair. With gentle purrs and soothing words, Coffee comforted the girl, easing her pain and guiding her towards the light. Finally after so long trapped and in prison, the girl's spirit ascended into the heavens, and a sense of peace washed over Coffee. He had conquered his fear, and in doing so, had helped a lost soul find its way home. As he made his way back to the world of the living, Coffee realized he had been seen with a ghostly girl. But he wasn't concerned what the humans saw, he knew that he was more than just a cat he was a guardian of the night, a protector of the lost and the forgotten. From that day onward, Coffee continued to roam the streets of the town, his presence a comfort to those in need, for they kind of understood what he had done that night, and though the townsfolk remained wary of his mysterious nature, they could not deny the profound impact he had on their lives. Their fear was dampened and the hauntings, for now, had ceased because of him, even though it perplexed them the townsfolk knew it was real. For Coffee was not just a cat he was a beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness, something the people sorely needed, a reminder that even in the bleakest of times, there is always a glimmer of light and hope.